Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your April 2021 reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And we're going to tap into your energy, your general energy, for the month of April. What is going on? Okay, door to value, victory, man holding a coin. Okay, you've gotten to a place in your journey or your career. This feels like a financial win, flow, windfall of abundance. Uh, also, whoever it is within your life, if it's your boss, if it's you, if it's your partner, someone comes into some money here, uh, wise investments pay out, hard work being acknowledged, noticed, and compensated as it should. Right, Aquarius? I want to say the last few weekly readings for you guys have been a bit tumultuous when it came to work and, you know, compensation. I will link them here for you. I will also link the weekly reading playlist at the end of the video. Also, you guys, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up to help me out. And then um, also, if you subscribe, make sure that you are subscribed with notifications. I have been uploading your weekly readings. I think I'm going to be scheduling them to be every Thursday so you can count on having your week ahead energy sh uh, snapshot every Thursday afternoon. So April. Yeah, it, it seems to go in line with what you had in your previous readings in terms of fighting for what you believe in, standing your ground, speaking your truth, knowing that you're not going to back down from whatever fight you need to be in or whatever fight needs to take place, whether at work, in your relationships, finances, you know, if you feel like you're being taken advantage of, if you feel that uh, people are discrediting you or are not taking your opinion into consideration. I do feel a sense of victory after all of this. I, I just kind of peeked in the middle of the deck and the six of wands was there. And I said a sense of victory. Oh, yeah. And then the magician at the bottom of the deck. And you had the victory card there. So I also feel that you may have like some sort of promotion being offered, compensation, a raise. Um, I, this feels like a drastic change from one week to another. So if you are going through some tough times at work where you feel like there is no freaking way this is going to happen. I mean, the ace of swords underneath the victory, if that doesn't say victory, come on, the laurel, the crown, that is forging ahead and you are an air sign. Aquarius, Sabre, Gemini energy, being quick with your wit, with your word, with communication, knowing that any communication that you bring forth during whatever battle you feel you need to fight or you're coming out of, you have won, you have achieved the results that you wanted. It took a lot of fighting. It, it even took some lowballing for some of you, uh, unfortunately, throwing someone under the bus or maybe confronting them about a specific situation, which again, I want to say you're reading, or maybe it's the one for next week because I don't think I've uploaded that one yet. The one, the I don't know, check out your weekly readings. I've done so many already. I'm actually pre-recording. Uh, I'm recording this in the middle of March simply because I'm going on vacation. So <laughs> I'm getting these readings out to you much quickly, much sooner. I feel that if you are offered a raise, a promotion, a relocation, something that says, I value your opinion, I value your hard work. I know you guys have been through a lot. I know that you've gone through this, this and that. I know you mean well. And, and we realize that you, you deserve some sort of bonus, compensation, money, achievement, title change, uh, whatever it may be. I do feel a raise is coming Perhaps even like a bonus compensation, like overtime, extra hours, an additional assignment, uh, you know, a title change. Like, hey, we noticed that all these years you've been doing the work of the supervisor without actually being the supervisor. So we're going to make you lead or we're going to make you that type of energy. You know, uh, when we look back at everything that you do, I'm hearing someone maybe maybe that had to go like on a medical leave that had to miss work. I mean, if you got COVID or whatever, apologies. I'm sorry. I hope you're healing well. Um, but if you had to go on leave and you could not be at work, I think your absence made an impact 
because now everyone at your job site, at your office, at your place of employment is like, holy cow, how did this person hold down the fort? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how did they do it all? I don't even know how they've managed to do it all. And now it's kind of in this sense of, okay, they've been doing this for a really long time by themselves without any help, assistance, or compensation. Things, people, the right people start noticing this and you will be compensated. You will have this title change, this sense of, um, okay, let me... <laughs> I know you want more money. I know you want more success, more acknowledgement. They may not offer you the amount that you want or that you're hoping for, but you definitely get the recognition and the sense of you are valued here. And I know some of you are like, forget all that, give me the money. <laughs> but you are going to be sitting pretty or sitting high on that throne. I definitely feel that like, like you come back, like it is about time these people appreciate all the work, all the hard work, all the energy, everything that I managed to do on my own without support, without, you know, the financial resources and all of that. And maybe you're coming back after going through some healing and things like that. And so you're definitely being recognized. I do feel like you are being offered a raise, a promotion, additional compensation, whatever that may be in your case. Okay, give me one sec. Let's pull from the wisdom of the oracle. Be careful when you go back with a chip on your shoulder. I have a feeling that if you were on some sort of leave, if you took some vacation time, you were away from the office, away from your place of employment, and they were probably like blowing up your phone, emailing you, trying to contact you, and then probably had a bunch of complaints like that. Aquarius always handles it. Why can't you? And you come back with this chip on your shoulder, like you're smug, like, yeah, that's right. And you guys couldn't handle it, right? I don't complain. I don't get paid enough. I feel like you can even push the envelope just a little bit to get the additional compensation as long as you are not coming off super smug, okay? Yeah, there's a change in the wind, a change in the direction, the trajectory, something in your plans that you are not expecting or anticipating. If you expect to go back to work or if you expect a specific amount of, of compensation or something to that effect, there's a wrench thrown in the plans. Now, doesn't need to be a negative thing, okay? It could just mean be prepared for being unprepared, <laughs> if that makes sense. You are not prepared for this wrench in, you know, in the plans. Okay, hang on. I because I have this little nudging feeling of needing to not go back to work smug, needing to not be smug or uh, having that chip on your shoulder of like after all these years and time and energy and effort, now you guys see everything that I do. Now you guys, you know, appreciate it. Okay, I need Aquarius to see what the outcome is if they go back with that type of attitude, with that smug attitude, with wanting to throw it in their face. There's a trio. I see like your immediate supervisor, a higher up like CEO and a queen of cups, someone that you may be working that's more on the emotional sides. It could also be like a human resource type person that kind of puts them on edge about whether or not to offer you the additional compensation. Yeah, see, they start second guessing and wondering be like, should we offer this to them after all? Not because they're thinking we should give you more. But because they're thinking, 
what are we really doing here? <laughs> they begin to second guess whether or not you are deserving of that simply from your attitude and not from your work ethic, which I know, not fair. I get it. But give Aquarius advice on how to handle this. <laughs> the chariot card. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, the Chariot card. Listen, don't shoot yourself in the foot because you want to slap them with some truth. Because they will send you packing. <laughs> All I have to say is don't shoot yourself in the foot. You will end up working like a slave for the same amount of compensation or less in terms of cutting back your hours, that type of thing, as petty as that sounds. Now, if they approach it, if you approach it in a much better uh, standpoint, understanding, being open to whatever they say, maybe a little bit more tight-lipped, Aquarius, I know that might be a little hard for you. Just speak your truth. Come from a place of sincerity, of appreciation, and if you want to let them know just how stressful and, you know, how much how much of a burden it was all those years to carry on your own, you can, you know, word it in a way where you can say, you know, thank you for noticing the amount of stress that I've been dealing with this whole time. I'm glad you guys finally see it. But Spirit is saying it's time for you to come from a more feminine uh, ener energy in terms of now I don't have to you don't got to be girly if you're a guy right what I'm saying is from a more nurturing loving caring perspective to be responsive with your emotions and not from like an angry point of view right resentment one more card please <laughs> And that's exactly it. It's it's time for you to be flexible with this. It's, you know, you finally got the response or the reaction from them, the acknowledgement, uh, the fact that they don't value as much as you had hoped that they would all these years. They finally do. And that's the point that spirit is making. You know, listen, you've been bugging, crying, whatever, being mad at the world for them not acknowledging you or appreciating you this whole time when we're here to tell you, like, this is what had to take place. Now that you're here, there's no need for, you know, those type of words, I should say. So Archangel Michael is with you and guiding you and protecting you every step of the way. So if you feel that you need some, a sense of protection, encouragement, uh, just a sense of being able to speak out clearly, call Archangel Michael to help you and shield you from any negative repercussions from this, okay? And your friendships go a long way in this scenario, in this situation. If you need advice of, you know, how to approach something, especially if it's blessings coming your way. I feel that your friendships did have a lot to do with this. Your friendships in the workplace as well. Somebody here put in a good word for you. Don't make them look bad and don't shoot yourself in the foot, Aquarius. What is your soul's journey saying? Ah, peace, the card of peace. I am a blessed, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. That includes resentment. That includes, you know, that type of energy, okay? Let it go. You don't need to take it with you. Appreciate the time off that you had and, you know, move forward. Move forward. So be honest with yourself. The card of honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And at the end of the day, you know the truth. You know they know the truth as well. It might be a little bit more difficult for them to admit it. <laughs> so let me see overall outcome and advice for Aquarius. That is your card. You are within your power. You are feeling peace, healed, hopeful. I feel that you recovered from whatever you had to take time off for if you were ill, 
if you needed some time off, if you had to take vacation time, you just needed a break from the monotony, from work and leaving your responsibilities of the day to day. Even if this isn't at work and you're like a housemaker, right? You go visit family, you leave your partner or spouse at home with the responsibility of the bills, the household, the children, and they're just like, how in the world did you do it, right? Because essentially that is your job. And page of swords energy. So, wow, queen of cups. You've got your eye on these friendships, on a uh, relationship, on someone who is loving and nurturing. And I feel that you may be healing that partnership, friendship, or relationship as well. Um, this may be someone that you weren't talking to. Maybe you weren't getting along with at work or at home. This absence or this break apart from each other really brought everything into a whole new perspective that allowed the situation to heal. And I feel that you come away from that, yeah, that justice card right there. You come away from that sense of feeling left out in the cold or you pull them back in after leaving them out in the cold. You feel at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's the right thing to do. King of Wands energy. You start taking action and forward movement there. So Aquarius, that is your reading for April 2021. I'm going to link here the weekly reading. So go ahead and check those out as well as your love life reading that I'm going to record right after this. Sending you guys so much love. Have a wonderful April and I'm wishing you guys all the best. Take care. Bye.